Is DJI soon to launch a rival to the Hover Air X1 selfie drone? The Hover Air X1 has become very popular for its quick deploy and ability to grab automated shots really quickly. DJI has nothing like that currently on the market, so is that about to change? Rumours are afoot of a leaked design of a new DJI drone, possibly named Neo, which has, from the designs at least, looked like it's got a cage around the blades, similar to the Hover Air X1. Now what's not clear is whether this new drone will be aimed for complete beginners, like the Hover Air, and being super automated, or whether it's going to be more like an indoor FPV drone. A number of years ago there was the DJI Tello, actually made by a completely different company but with DJI technology, and that was ridiculously small and light, suitable for kids and indoor use. So without further leaked information available, what is the intention of the DJI Neo? Assuming, of course, it does actually come out. Is it going to be a rival to the Hover Air, with the power of a DJI technology behind it? Now that truly would be something. Or will it be a replacement of the venerable Tello, aimed at more like kids and indoor users? Or will it be a completely new, lightweight FPV drone? We're going to just have to wait and see an to update of course when it becomes available. According to this leaked image of the box, it looks like this drone is going to be in 4K resolution, which is going to be really exciting, especially for its size. And also there appears to be some buttons on the top, some physical buttons, and these very much remind me of the Hover Air X1 buttons for doing quick shots and automated shots. So it really does appear like this drone could well be rival to the Hover Air X1. So that's going to be really interesting. So one of the things here, it does look like it includes a DJI controller. So my thoughts is that one of the things that I particularly like about the Hover Air X1 is that we can actually get a very, very small controller to be able to fly it manually. Whereas this looks like it may require this large controller, which of course immediately makes it not quite so portable as uh, compared to the Hover RX1, but we just have to wait and see um, when it actually finally comes out.